it's opening day for the Rockies getting ready to take on the Dodgers. Let's talk a little bit about Coors Field. It's a gorgeous stadium. It's the fourth largest by capacity in the major leagues at 50,144 and the Rockies consistently rank in the top 10 in average attendance. Of course, it was on full display for the nation to see all star weekend last year and when air tracker seven flew over the field yesterday, the turf was in pristine condition. We had a chance to catch up with the Rockies head groundskeeper for the last 28 years since they first moved to Coors Field. They've been heating the turf from underground for two months straight to get it green and ready to go. And they'll be watching how the grass and dirt reacts throughout the game. We watched the game from the knee on down. So, you know, just watching how the ball um, bounces, if it stays true. Um, you know, front of home plate is kind of a critical spot. That's where the first top is. So we want to make sure, you know, it's, it's, it's dead in the ball there. Um, um, just, you know, how wet or dry, you know, conditions are. So, you know, a lot of it has to do with weather and, and day to day. So, so just kind of watching how their feet react to the turf and how the ball reacts to the turf. The thing they can't control, though, the altitude. According to the Rockies website, a hit ball travels 9% farther in the air at a mile high compared to sea level fields. Well, first pitch is at 210 this afternoon, but the festivities kick off across 20th Street and McGregor Square at 11 a.m. There's going to be drink specials, and you can watch the game on their 66-foot outdoor screen.